All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, coming at you Boop. with, uh, I guess this is a uh, brand new episode of Andy Cade. I'm not sure what to call this, but uh, I'm out here, out and about, kind of by a busy street, so uh, sorry for all the, uh, the noise, but uh, I got my GoPro and uh, my little Zoom mic here, so hopefully the noise isn't too bad. And uh, we're, today we're playing Pokemon Go. So yeah, uh, got the app last night and uh, decided to do something with it today on my day off. So uh, now we're gonna go to a uh, little Poke uh, stop or whatever it's called. Uh, still very new to the game. I only got like two Pokemon right now. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. I'll just uh, do little vlog parts here. Uh, I'm not gonna vlog the whole thing obviously, but like kind of do little snippets of like highlights and stuff like that. So anyway, we're here at one of these stops. Hopefully we're close enough. There we go, okay. So here, Victory Baptist Church. All right. Okay, so apparently uh, it has to have a Pokestop module installed. There's like some kind of weird empty thing. I'm not really sure. So a little confused by that. Like I said, I'm still pretty new to the whole uh, Pokemon Go thing. So uh, we're just gonna walk around and uh, see if we can uh, catch some more Pokemons. So yeah, see you in the next bit. All right guys, so kind of on the move right now. There's really not a whole lot of stuff around my neighborhood, but uh, I did, I don't know if you can see because it's kind of bright out today, but there is something way off in the distance. So I'm not sure what that is. But uh, we're gonna go and uh, search for it. So yeah, stay tuned. Okay guys, so I'm still on the, uh, still on the run for some Pokemon stuffs. And uh, I, you know, one of the interesting things about this particular video, how I decided to set it up, is the mounting system that I have for uh, recording this. Cause I have, I have my GoPro <clears throat> on a selfie stick. And then on the other side I have my, uh, zoom h2n recorder so hopefully it sounds good i don't know how uh how well it's gonna sound because of all the background noise and stuff and i got the little windscreen on too so hopefully there's not a whole lot of uh like wind noise it's got a little like a slight breeze going on nothing too bad and uh as I was putting this thing together, I'm just wondering, like, why have I never used this setup before? It's so... Sorry. I'm listening to a podcast, too. I'm listening to uh, Philip DeFranco's podcast interview with uh, Aaron Hansen, also known as Eagle Raptor, from uh, Game Grumps. Uh, so, pretty interesting talk. Um, just a random kind of tangent, I guess. Uh, thinking about doing a podcast of my own at some point where I interview people. But then you gotta schedule the time and do all this other stuff, so you know. <laughs> you know how that goes. But uh, yeah, it's definitely something I'm thinking about. But yeah, like I said, I'm just, it's so weird. I never thought about using this setup before. I don't know, had the equipment for so long. But hey, <laughs> doing it now, so uh, yeah. So I think we're getting a little bit closer to this uh, this next little poke stop area. Hopefully it's an actual thing and not just some random blank site. I don't know, it's weird. Like, it, I, and again, it could just be me not knowing how to do things, which is probably, probably what's going on. Um, like I said, I just got the game yesterday and there's I think my one criticism, sorry, I'm fiddling with my headphones there. I think my one criticism of Pokemon Go is that it's not as initially intuitive as the original Pokemon series. Like, <laughs> it was so bad, I didn't even know how to throw a Pokeball. Like, I thought, like, the aiming system was kind of weird. Um, I just wish that they had, like, a tutorial or, like, a help little page or something like that. And I think that'll be uh, fixed in future uh, future updates or whatever. So I'm sure they've been getting those kinds of complaints as of late. But
But uh, yeah, overall, I kind of like the game. Uh, like I said, just started, so I like the concept of it. I liked how Nintendo is finally branching out into the uh, mobile world and actually using their first party, or I guess Pokemon via second party platform to uh, <clears throat> make mobile games, which is, I think, what Nintendo should do uh, going forward, because, like, they can't really compete with uh, Microsoft or Sony as far as, like, a technological standpoint, and Nintendo's always been one to do things a little differently, and that worked really well for the Wii, but the Wii U just wasn't that good. I mean, it's not that the console is bad, it's just that they tried to rely so much on the original Wii's success that they just basically should have just called it Wii 2 instead of Wii U. I mean, let's be honest here. And like I said, I'm not saying it's a bad system. It's just like the naming was confusing and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, I don't know. I think I might actually still pick one up. Maybe like a used version. If anything, just to play Mario Maker, because I've been really wanting to play that game, but I've uh, been really broke lately with bills and stuff, so kind of hard to, uh, to spare the cash for something like that, especially lately. But maybe soon, maybe soon. So yeah, I think we're getting close. So yeah, see you in the next bit. Okay guys, so um, yeah. Went to my second, I guess, Poke stop or whatever. But it didn't have anything, so it's really weird. Um, I don't know if it's just there's not much of a Pokemon Go community out here in Portage or not. I'm not sure, but there was uh, two Poke stops, one by a church and now I'm by the post office, and uh, they just didn't have anything. They just showed a picture, and I couldn't access any items or anything. So it's really, really strange. So uh, apparently there's some more stuff up ahead. Uh, I'll see if we have any more things. Let's see, it's about that far away. Way off in the distance. <laughs> I don't know how well the camera can pick up all that stuff, so. We'll see once I get down to editing this video. But uh, yeah, <laughs> onward to Pokemon Adventures. I don't know, <laughs> we'll figure it out. All right, see you in the next bit. All right, guys. So uh, <clears throat> I'm here by another uh, Poke Stop landmark area. Uh, it's by the, uh, the old cemetery. You can see the background there. Um, again, it just says what it is. It doesn't have the items or anything like that. So I'm not really sure I'm doing this right. I don't know. <laughs> so might have to look up. Uh, how to do it proper later on. So this is just like my first experiences playing Pokemon Go. So uh, uh, I'll do another lap and uh, we'll see if uh, <clears throat> I've come across something interesting. So uh, up here actually there's a, uh, there's a gym, but I'm only level three right now while I was walking around and stuff. So can't participate in the gym just yet, but uh, soon, soon. <laughs> so maybe I guess I'll run around and get some more Pokemons. It looks like they have like a, uh, a Hypno at the gym, claimed by Team uh, Team Mystic right now. So that's the team I actually want to join, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, let's just uh, keep on pressing on. Uh, just looking around at the map here. I don't see anything. This is nothing way back there, but uh, so far nothing. So uh, yeah, I know this episode's kind of short, and I haven't really done a whole lot in this episode. But uh, I think I'm just gonna call it here uh, for now, and then hopefully later we'll go ahead and uh, be able to do better things. So that said, this is Dan Son. Sign up for now. Thinking you guys for tuning in to, uh, I guess, part one of my Pokemon Go playthrough here on uh, Andycade, I guess. <laughs>
And uh, for watching my other stuff, also want to thank you guys for liking, for the thumbs, commenting, subscribing, sending your friends to the party. And hey, as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.